Hello and welcome to the Spirit Safe. My name is Rob. Thank you very much indeed for joining me. What do we have this time? It's a bit of a bonus video because we had a video yesterday. It was a, um, a Scotch single malt whiskey. Uh, this time I thought we'd do something a little bit different. I've only done one other uh, non whiskey video and that was beer. So I thought I, I'm, I'm clearing out my liquor cabinet because we're moving house soon. So I found this that my friend gave to me and I thought well I'll open it and I'll uh, I'll do a quick review. It, it is Killipitch Premium Krauter Liqueur made in Dusseldorf. Um, Kraut would indicate cabbage, um, but apparently there's no cabbage in it. I know virtually nothing about it. Uh, Dusseldorf, city in western Germany, extreme western Germany. Uh, very, very interesting place. Um, I had a night out there with a group of lads. I woke up in the morning, minus 250 euro and a perfectly square patch of chest hair. No idea. What happened to this day? Nobody will tell me. So I know next to nothing about this. Um, it says on the top, on the cap here, ice kalt genießen, which means enjoy ice cold. So this and the the glass I'm about to pour it into have been in the um, have been in the freezer for an hour or so. God damn it! Oh, it's a bit stiff. The cap. No, oh. I'm gonna have to. Put an elastic band over it. The cap is very, very stiff. A bit embarrassing that I can't open it, to be quite frank. There we go. Yeah, it's a bit kind of gnarled away at. I think this was in my friend's jacket pocket for uh, a couple of months before he gave it to me. So, looking at the colour, it's a kind of bloody. <laughs> kind of a, uh, a dirty brown reddish colour. Uh, anyone who's seen the, um, the Netflix documentary Making a Murderer, when they go and look in that evidence vault and they find the vial of blood that's been there for, uh, for uh, 20 years with chemicals in it. A bit like that. Very dark in colour. And it's very, very syrupy as well. Oh dear. That has a really wicked alcohol smell. It's bottled at 42%. And even at this very cold temperature, I know I'm in for a bit of a treat with it. A bit like Jägermeister. But I don't expect that they sell as much of this as they do Jägermeister, for some reason. I've never seen any product placements for this thing. Okay. I can't smell a great deal, other than a wicked alcohol smell. Lots and lots of herbs. Quite a lot of cough syrup. And the alcohol note is really quite isopropyl. Quite uh, de icer. There's a Coca Cola smell to it and a Coca Cola look to it as well. Yeah, it's herbal, it's like those Ricola sweets, the Swiss uh, cough sweets. Okay, let's go for it. I think most people would probably shoot this, any kind of schnapps or anything, often it, it gets, uh, it's more for shooting than sipping, but let's give it a go. It's not too bad. It's very orangey to start with. Bit of a wicked aftertaste that I'm struggling to describe. Um, very orangey to be, to begin with.
a lot of brown sugar, kind of orange sorbet without the creaminess to it. It's very thick and mouth coating. It'd be quite nice on ice cream actually. It's a bit like Jägermeister, but I've not had a lot of Jägermeister since my son was born because I'm sort of banned from drinking it now, I think. Syrupy, sweet, cloyingly sweet, and yet very sour as well. Yeah. I can't see myself buying a full 750ml uh, seven, bottle, I have to say. It's not bad. If I was in um, Dusseldorf, and I don't know how I managed to avoid this the first time, but if I were in Dusseldorf, I would... Uh, I would probably order it just for the experience, uh, but if I found this on the um, on the shelves of the liquor store here in Canada, I can't imagine myself. <laughs> I can't imagine myself buying it. Um, yeah, I, I'd be quite interested to try some weird schnapps and weird kind of um, herbal liqueurs from around the world. Um, I've always tasted them while I was travelling, but I've never looked for them in the supermarkets or liquor stores. So, um, would I buy that? Not sure I would, but I'm not the biggest fan of the genre. I, I can't tell you, is this a very good German um, red herbal liqueur, or is it a bad one, because I don't know enough about the genre. Um, but it, it's not for me, I don't think. Anyway, I'm going to finish this off, slowly, I think. Um, thank you very much for tuning in for a, a strange review, but thank you very much, and we'll see one another again. Cheers. Bye-bye.